Okay, uh, with asymmetric encryption, um, what do we, yeah, what do we use it for? How do we use it? Um, so, uh, the, uh, the thing is, you have the two keys. You have uh, the public key and you have a private key. Now, the public key is public. It, you can publish it in the newspaper. You can publish it in phone books. You can put it on billboards. It doesn't know, need, it doesn't need to be kept secret. Uh, it doesn't matter who knows about the public key. Uh, I remember one of the, uh, questions uh, that uh, we used to use in, in uh, some of the exams and it was uh, talking about you know uh, compromise of a public key and, and I used to tell people that it's really hard to compromise a public key because everybody knows what it is the public key is public um, you know that's the, the, the point and that's uh, where the the other name for asymmetric encryption public key encryption comes from is, is the fact that you have this public key and it doesn't have to be kept secret. It doesn't matter who knows it. The other key, and remember the two keys are mathematically related. So that means when something is encrypted with one key, only the other key can decrypt it. And so um, you have these two keys, um, one of which anybody can know, and one of which only one person knows, and that's you. Um, and and that's you know as as far as it needs to go. Um, the uh, uh, you you don't need uh, um, well. With symmetric encryption, you have to keep the key secret, but you have to keep it secret between two people. And as we say, you know, two people can keep a secret only if one of them is dead. Um, the uh, the private key in asymmetric encryption does not have to be uh, shared with anyone. It doesn't have to be. Um, uh, it, it doesn't have to be communicated. It doesn't have to be escrowed. It doesn't, you know, all kinds of things that you don't have to do. And so the key management is simplified to a certain extent. Now we will get into uh, public key infrastructure later, and it is um, very complicated. And this is how you vouch for the fact that a particular public key is associated with an individual. Uh, at any rate, that's, uh, we, we will uh, get into that in, in due course. But for the moment, um, you know, we, we don't have to, uh, we don't have to do any key management. And we also have um, very, simplified uh, scalability. If we have a thousand employees, we only have two thousand keys. And in fact, one thousand of them we don't have to take care of because, you know, it is known only to uh, the person associated with it. Um, we don't have to worry about those keys. Um, you know, we, we don't even have to know what they are to verify that uh, they are the other half of the key pair because they're the only key that can decrypt uh, material that is encrypted with the public key, for example. Or if we, uh, if we go the other way, if we want to do the authentication, uh, if we have that person encrypt something, anything, and then we can decrypt it uh, with the public key, then we know that, yes, they, they hold the private key. That's the way it works. That is, uh, you know, that's where your security comes from. 
that one key and one key only will decrypt what is encrypted with the other half of the key pair. So when you want to send a confidential message to someone, you take their public key, and, and I mean, it's public, uh, and, and we'll get into public key infrastructure and, and verifications and, and that sort of thing, but you know, it, it can be published in the newspaper. It can be published in the, in the phone book. Um, it's, it's public. It doesn't matter how public it is. And we use that key to encrypt a message. Now, once it is encrypted, we can't decrypt it with the public key anymore. You know, it, it asymmetric encryption. That's, you know, why it's asymmetric. We don't use the same key for encryption and decryption. And so the... Uh, the other key is the only one that will open it. So once we, we encrypt that message, uh, the person associated with the key pair is the only person who can open that message, can decrypt that message, because that is the only person who has the private key for the key pair. And uh, when we want to do it the other way, we've got... Um, you know, the ability uh, to verify. If we have that person encrypt something, anything, uh, something that we know, and we can decrypt it with the public key, then we know it was encrypted with the private key. And so that must be the person who holds the private key. There's your verification. So, uh... You know, that is the way that this stuff works. And it gives us not just the uh, confidentiality uh, provision and, and functionality, but it, it now gives us authentication, verification, non-repudiation, all of these other things that were very difficult, if not impossible, with symmetric encryption.